What's up, everyone? Lodo Drendel here. Um, it's been a while since I've done a uh, video log for you guys, so um, <sighs> my apologies for that. Um, actually, I had, if you guys had been following my channel, I had posted some uh, Let's Plays involving Destiny. I was planning on getting a video out to you guys last night, actually, with uh, while I was go doing a Let's Play of Azure Dreams. Sadly, a storm kind of came in out of nowhere last night and my power went out, so I wasn't able to get the footage to and it would, it got it got corrupted, so I couldn't do anything for you guys. But um hope today I'm actually not going to be able to. I'm going to be attending a birthday party. It's my friend Emily's birthday. <laughs> I don't know if she likes being on camera, but she's just like looking at me like, "What the fuck are you doing?" But um, I'm actually I'm at her I'm at her condo right now. Her roommates at work. Uh, her her boyfriend or my you know my or my best friend is at his place playing right now. He's playing Dragon Age Inquisition. So so I guess there's not much I can do for today. But um, actually. I wanted to do a uh, kind of a video log of sorts based on um, work. You know, like from my work history, I, when I first moved, I've, I moved down here where I live now. Back in, I want to say it was late, to, late August to early September 2007. So, it will be, I will have been living here for a total of eight years. Quite honestly, it's, it was a hard thing to adjust to but I don't regret it um, probably let's see I, I get employed well internship at first at a place called Crown Pontiac Nissan which let eventually be just becomes Crown Nissan by mid to late 2009 I was put on internship there in 2008 in June um, but let's see. Moved. I moved to paid employment within. I want to say six months. So I last there, and then I last there till 2010 in late February, where I was laid off due to a really a kind of a. I'll just be honest. A piss poor economy. The GM, the General Motor business that. Crown Nissan was doing had jumped in mid 2009 over to a di to another dealership, Edward Chevrolet, which they had to make cutbacks. If the manager then had his way, he, had, he I mean he would I would have been one of the last guys he would let go. I mean I remember he made he actually did a letter a letter of commendation recommendation put his own in his own signature on it, but um. So, advance a year later, a year and a month, so March of 2011, I, am, I get a job at where I'm currently now, TJ Maxx. Now, the things I've learned during then, and this, and this is kind of a pet peeve of mine, there are individuals that I've come across via, you know, co-workers at my, you know, at Crown, um... Co some co former co-workers at <sighs> some former co-workers and some current at TJ Maxx my problem with some of them were that and one of the, the one of the ones I used to work with former coordinator who um, I'm trying to remember the whole some messed up reason all, just always seemed to pick a fight like picked up Bull, kind of, I won't say bullied, but it was just very rude and disrespectful to me, and a co and a few other coworkers. One of them who I found out had his, his, a, a disability, and some weird reason he was he was kind of treated poorly. I was treated poorly for the you know for similar reasons. Um, this individual, we had reported numerous times, complained, not much was done, I mean, eventually it, fast forward a few years late, about, 
Yeah, about two, three years later, give or take, she transfers out. So, you know, the whole oh, blatant disrespect, not owning up to the, the actions as of, at that. For me, she went, this individual went as far as to insult me and my, and my disability in front of other coworkers, which for me was, I took as an open slap to the face. I really don't care what happened, what happened to, happens to her. The way I look at this, and this is, you know, there's always going to be people who bully, treat you poorly, disrespectful, you know, and it's, it just becomes a matter of turning the other cheek. Sucks, but what else can you do? Um... Uh, uh, probably one of the biggest problems I've had is the that um, some individuals don't want to. They want a job, but they do not want to put in the time. You know the the work. As a result, we've had numerous people fired. I mean, there's been a whole bunch of uh, you know firings, quit quitting. I mean, there's just anything and everything you could think of it you know at in the end you only get out what you put in which for me if you want to get somewhere you really get if you want to if you want to get to like a managerial position you know if we use my what hmm Trying to think, like, for my job, we have um, associates, coordinator, ma assistant manager, manager, loss prevention, um, district man. If you want to get higher up in the chain, you got to put forth the time and the effort, all the while remaining a, um, you know, vigilant in your, you know, vigilant in your endeavors, constantly being reliable. To, you know, to do anything and everything you are expected to do, and then more. My thing is, and this is something, you know, like for me, I've been working there about, I've been, actually, I've been working there for about four and a half years. I've got an out some hour extra hours compared, and but sometimes sometimes I still think some places will play favorites, be, be it because they have cars, or they kiss ass, which there's and that's another that's one of the biggest pet peeves I've had is the ass kissers. It's like the nice guys or the nice people get run over, stepped on, left in the dust. And, you know, there's there's cases where that's not where that don't happen. There are some cases where it does. I don't know. I think it varies from place to place. But my, the thing with where it comes to individuals who have hmm, trying to figure out the best way to word this, um, where people will put in put in the minimal time, minimal effort to try to get the maximum gain those kind of people kind of make me sick not in a not like to where I'm, I'm not judging them per se but my problem is the simple fact that if it wasn't for you know a lot of people have been some people a lot of people passed over for a lot of things some fired, some let go. There's a lot of things that are that go around in life and work. When it comes to work, you you know you're expected to perform your duties, be punctual. You know, showing the proper work ethic, going above and beyond your your you know the call of duty if you want to use complete terms. But um, at the end of the day. And this is something that I've that I've taken for myself. You got to put you got to get your foot in the door and you got to take the initiative forward if you want to get farther in your
career. You got to be, you know, some school. There's there's a lot of things to push for. You know, sometimes school. You know, some places require college degrees and education. Um, like I said, just pushing, pushing it, push forward on your, you know, your goals. You know, you gotta set goals for yourself. You gotta keep pushing for it. You can't let something stop you. So, I think, honestly, when it comes to work, and then one, another saying that I remember, a company is as good as its worst employee. If the, empl the worst employee is a very hard, good worker, then the company itself is a very good company. However, if the worst employee is very, very poor with work ethic, like they're always late, don't take responsibility, don't do their job properly, then you got a problem. So, you know, that's, that's my little vlog I've wanted to do for you guys today. I'll probably have, you know, another one out for you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, so, and it's game night, so I may... I'm going to try to do a Let's Play video there. I'm thinking I want to try to do a live thing on YouTube. I just don't know how to um, freaking do it yet. And sorry if I keep messing with this. this keeps, I, keep, I have a curl that just keeps bugging me up. And what the f Anyway, so, um, sorry, something weird on TV. E-Harmony, ugh. But, um, anyway, so that, that settles this whole vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed what I've had to say. Don't forget to, to uh, subscribe for more content. I have my Twitter and Twitch links in the description box down below. Twitch is currently on hold till I can figure out what the heck's going on. I think it's just the internet. But, um... Yeah, that's about all I got for you guys. I hope you guys have a good Thursday afternoon, you know. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And, well, keep it real.